Okay, we'll call you if we need trouble here. Uh, three four zero south of six seventy six. I Dick Rochford here. This is Mike. Mike. Uh, correction, uh, no, November 172, Mike Alpha. Shortcut routing for you. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, Abadine Equip Meridian. And we are overflying Echo, Yellow Rain. Romeo Echo Sierra. Of course, direct missing, that Sierra, Sierra, is next red. Missing, this and then direct is radar. The okay, this is the vertical profile Echo, Romeo, Echo Sierra, of the radar as we were flying. You can see the light rain down below us mostly. Temperature right, here is Mike Sierra, Sierra, minus one nine. Mike Sierra, Sierra, we have Sierra, negative Sierra, ice. Uh, so we've been flying over the green portion of this uh, for some time and uh, decided to cut the corner uh, at flight level 280. So the trick to uh, resolving NEXRAD versus radar is to uh, Know that radar is real time water, next rat is old and uh, uh, not, not as resolute. 2,000 meter resolution versus very good resolution that's uh, uh, variable with range. In any case, radar is real time and it's to be trusted. Understand that radar paints only water. I've said that before and you may already know that. But it's okay to believe it. We're on our way to Destin. So now we expect better weather from here on. Uh, there are a few small go-arounds. Uh, there's one at Georgia. We may be making a left turn to, to ditch that. But here at 280, we're, we're yeah, really just coming out of the the worst part of the weather, which wasn't so bad at all. But the way you ascertain that is with color weather radar. Some good training on how to use it, and then some exercises to build your confidence. Feel free to watch some of my other videos here on YouTube. I'm quite sure you find them useful. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. You totally fixed it. Train off it. Link two five contact.